and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Alright, let's get to work. Also, let's get changed real quick. There's not really any more holidays left to the season except for like the pumpkin jamboree on the 30th, I think? Uh, let's see here. What do I want to wear today? You know what? I'm feeling orange today. Actually, you know what? No, we've been wearing orange all season. I'm feeling red today. Also, let me check the calendar real quick. Yeah, the next holiday is going to be the pumpkin jamboree, and then that's going to be it for autumn. We have 10 days left until... Wait, no, we only have like 8 days left until autumn is over. God, autumn like went by really quickly compared to like summer. Alright, let's get to work though. Oh, how about some harvesting later? Oh, actually, wait. Who's working today? Everyone's working today, but you two are going to be done tomorrow, so that's not good. Also, Pumpkin is starting to get dangerously low in friendship. I need to fix that. Same with Sunny. Alright, you know what? I'll make sure I'll, like, pass out Honey later. Just to make sure everyone likes me still. But, man... We lost every single festival except for the two chicken ones that we participated in, in terms of animals. Yeah, forget what the minimum amount of hearts you need to actually win those is. It's probably like 8 or 9, or 10 even. Either way. Unfortunate, but oh well. Yeah, the whole breeding mechanic in this game was... I, I still feel like that was a misstep. I guess to kind of like encourage you to actually use Miracle Potions and to breed, but... At the same time, I feel like my very first cow should be special. Not like be the one that's always going to be the worst because they just cannot get high enough heart levels. Oh well. Let's get to watering. That being said, my chickens are award winning at this point in the game. Like, literally. I have won every single chicken contest, but that's because that's more of a skill-based contest than a arbitrary numbers contest, which is a kind of a weird thing to say, but it's true. Alright, so everyone else is working. They're fine. Alright, who's ready to be built? Actually, how is the grass doing? How many pieces is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 15. There is enough grass. You know what? Autumn is almost over. I think I will let them out today just to enjoy the sunshine a little bit. Theoretically, I don't think there's anything keeping you from letting them out during the winter. So they could still get, like, get the outdoor time. We'll see. Especially in this game where you can't really let your animals get, or your animals still can't get sick. I'm still not sure what the downside of laying them out in the rain is in that case. I guess it kind of makes them unhappy. So yeah, I guess that would still be like a downside. Because unhappy animals still don't give, eh, don't give like products. Speaking of products, I do need to make sure I go to the blacksmith later today. Because I want to see if I can get myself some makers. Right now we are still missing one yarn maker and one yogurt. Not yogurt. Butter maker. For some reason, I always default to yogurt maker. No, it's a butter maker. We're still missing a butter maker, and we're missing a yarn maker. For the chicken coop. We have this yarn maker, obviously. I've been using it for like a year now. Alright, everyone out. Let's get to watering. Actually, let's get to harvesting. Screw it. Actually, I think green peppers are still the most profitable crop, so I guess we should start with them. Other than that, today is Friday, so I don't think there's- Oh my god, there's so many animals coming out. I don't think there's anything special happening today. Lou is coming to town on Sunday. I think I can still get some more recipes from her, so we'll go check that out later. Obviously on Sunday, because she's not here today. Man, I can't wish there were more, like, special visitors from Forget Me Not Valley, but I think those were the only two in the original game, so... They didn't really add anymore. But you know what? That's fine. To be honest, there's not a whole lot of villagers from Forget Me Not Valley that could appear here that would make sense. Even Lou is kind of pushing it. Doesn't she have like an in to run? An in that never really has guests in that game? Actually, how the hell did they stay in business? No one really stayed there except for like Nami and 
rock, I guess. Oh well. Also, yeah, I'm still not sure how the inn in this game stays in business. They don't really have anyone staying there, to be honest. I guess a van stays there when he comes to town, and... There are people who live there, technically. I don't know. Economics in this world are weird. Anyways, let's get back to watering. Also, wait, I let my chickens out, right? Yep, we let them out. Oh, I should also grab all that honey, too. Speaking of honey... Every Harvest Sprite I come across today gets honey. I need their friendship if I want to keep, have them keep working for me. Oh, wait. Here we go. Also, yeah, is there anything else I need to catch this season in terms of fish? Oh, right, I was actually trying to get, like, some of the kingfish, but I completely forgot about that when we got absurdly busy with farming. Uh, eh. At this point, there's not really a point catching all the kingfish. I just want to try fishing some more during the winter. That would be an el Well, that would be a relatively decent amount of money we can be bringing in. Oh, speaking of money, that's something I forgot to do today. One minute. I almost completely forgot. Give me that. Alright, we should get going, actually. It's already 2 o'clock. Uh, Zach's probably gonna be closing up shop, or his house soon. Okay, yeah, we need to get going. We'll come back and help out with more harvesting later. At some point, I do want to clear out the field, though. Just, like, one day sit down and harvest every single pepper. It's going to take probably days to do that, to be honest, but I kind of want to do it. I don't know, I always just like the giant spikes of money during summer compared to the slow but steady amounts of money during autumn. No, I don't want to sell for that little. Give me at least 20k, or not 20k, 120k. No, or not 120k, 12k. If it was 120k, that would be absolutely broken. That's 120,000. There we go. Stop giving me low prices today. I want good prices. There you go. Keep doing that. Oh, no. I keep hanging by. Yep. I wish you could sell these in bulk. Ah, uh, fine. Anything 12k and higher I'll take. It's called haggling. Either that or he has a very, very short-term memory in terms of what he offers. Yep. Take it. Two more. Take it. One more. Nope. This is the last dress. I want to sell this one for a good price. Eh, okay. Alright, we're good. Man... I feel like Greg is a reference to some character in one of the series. I don't know which one it is, though. Is it a River King reference? I don't know. I don't really know River King that well. Actually, I'm not even sure if that's still Marvel- or Yeah, I'm not sure if that's still, like, Marvelous, though. Actually, I don't think that is Marvelous. I think it was just made, uh, published by Natsume. Well, either way. Yeah, I feel like Greg is a reference to something, but I don't know what. It has to be a reference to a different game, right? Or is it just some random name they pulled out of a hat? It feels like it should be a reference, but whatever. Back to work. Oh wow, they actually cleared out this part of the field pretty well. This part of the field, not so much. Oh, it's almost 5pm actually. Uh, one second, let me just go dump what I have so far. We'll continue working even after he picks up the shipping, but I kind of just want to make a little bit of money today. Because I just realized I completely forgot to go to the blacksmith. I was so concentrated on shipping things out and actually going to uh, sell some dresses, I completely forgot. Okay, you know what? We'll go tomorrow. No rush. 
Oh wow, yeah, they really actually did a good job today. Oh, I didn't ship those uh, peppers in my inventory, whoops. But yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to the blacksmith. In fact, you know what, one second. There's an easy way to make me remember this. One minute, I'm going into storage real quick and just grabbing a piece of, uh... It's only Calcum that makes makers, right? Actually, wait, I just realized, do I have the ore to make a maker? Oh, it's adamantite. I have more than enough adamantite. Alright. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go get ourselves, like, one of our missing makers. But first, yeah, let's do a little bit more work. I'm just gonna keep working until the music stops. That seems like a good place to stop working. Uh, let's also get some more watering done over here. I'll just stick to the parts where I've watered in terms of which ones I'll take. Actually, you know what? Maybe on like the very last day of the season. I'm just going to switch every single Harvest Sprite to Harvesting and then just have them all just sweep over the entire field and grab everything. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea not thinking about it. So yeah, maybe once we're down to like the 27th or 28th, I'll just have everyone quit and then just have them all harvest for one day and just see what happens. Anyways, it's late. I'm going to bed. Right after I finish up this part of the field. Almost done, just a little bit more. Almost. But yeah, man, a tool that would let you harvest would be really awesome. Just like it's a late game upgrade. You can upgrade every other part of your field, but I guess the one part that requires like actual manual hands-on labor is the one you really can't improve on. Like, everything that involves machines, you can improve on and just increase your ability and efficiency, but the parts where you have to do it by hand, nope. That's always going to be limited by human uh, capability. Alright, but it's time for bed. Oh, I didn't check the weather, did I? Is it raining? Nope, I hear music. It's not raining. I really hope it rains soon. I kind of miss the rain. Also, yeah, how's the grass? Yep, the grass is... That's not going to be happening anytime soon anymore. I think we might be able to get one more day outside for just grazing after this, but after that, we're going to be stuck using, like, pre-made fodder. Yeah, now thinking about it, maybe I should have gone so overboard with the uh, peppers, but I had the seeds. What was I supposed to do? Not plant them? That would be wasteful compared to what I'm doing right now, which is also pretty wasteful, but you know what? It's fine. Oh yeah, speaking of wasteful, one second, I need to go grab more Harvest Sprites. Oh, it's the two waterers that need to be rehired. Alright. Actually, honestly... No, you know what? They're gonna stick to watering. Oh my god, I just realized that Blueberry is almost completely maxed out. You know what? Good for him. I didn't realize they had gotten that good at watering at this point. Huh. Nice. Alright, but today we are going to the blacksmith. I won't forget because I actually have it in my inventory. I'm gonna forget, aren't I? Also, they're only closed on Thursdays, right? They should be open today. Yep, they're open at 10. Alright, so we'll head over there once we're done with, like, taking care of the animals and doing a bit of watering. Oh, right, stamina is still a thing. I never really put flowers in the vase. I really should do that more often. I guess we have food on us if we really need to. There we go. Also, yes, we go flowers. I guess we never really grew flowers on the farm. I don't know, flowers are just kind of way too inefficient. Like, you need space to grow them and you can't actually sell them. 
Well, I guess you could summon the Han, but uh, the problem is they bear to suffer anything, so not really worth it in the long run. I guess they're good for, like, gifting, but eh. Like I said, flowers aren't really the big thing to grow in this game. It's always crops. Crops is where all your money is. Well, crops and gambling is where all your money is. Because if you're not going to use, like, the van's favorite exploit, the best way to make money in this game is just simply going to the horse races and just getting all of the prizes and selling them. Like I said before, I really miss the bucket. No, not the bucket, the basket from the original game. Because that's how you could kind of cheese it a little bit. By bringing a basket with you whenever you went to, like, a prize exchange and then just stuffing all your prizes in there. And then theoretically you would have an infinite... I forget if that actually had a limit, though. I don't think I ever hit the limit in the basket, but theoretically that would just give you like an infinite amount of inventory space to sell stuff in. Yeah, I'm not actually sure if it had a limit, uh, or like an upper limit in terms of how much it carried. I never hit it, that's for sure. Or if I did hit it, I never noticed. I probably did hit it at some point and just wasted a bunch of like crops and stuff, but oh well. There we go. Alright, so we got all the milk, all the animals have been fed. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we have a little bit of time to kill. Blacksmith doesn't open until like 10. So let's do a little bit of watering before we go. Especially on the parts of the field that actually need water now that I've harvested them. Alright, we can do a couple more plots and then we'll get going. Oh, right, I need to also go stop at the Harvest Sprite's house and grab some more help. I guess we'll help them. Uh, do I even want them to help out for a week at this point? Yeah, you know what I kind of do. We'll have. Oh, I'm out of water, actually. We'll have, have them help out for another week and then. For the last couple of days, we'll switch everyone over to harvesting. Because at that point, I just want the field completely cleared out. And then I can just cut it all down. Which is actually a super satisfying aspect of the game. Also, yeah, not once winter gets here, we can pretty much just permanently retire the watering can and the sickle. Both of them will be pretty much useless after this week. But yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna stop by the blacksmith on the way home. I just want to make sure I came out here first. Alright, so you two. Honey for you. And honey for you. Water for one week. And you help out with watering for one week. Blueberry is pretty much the best sprite at this point. It's always blueberry too. Like it's always the blue one that I always focus on for some reason. Even though my favorite color is green. Probably because I associate blue with watering. So I always assign them as one of my waterers, so that makes sense. Alright, let's go get ourselves a maker. Alright, let me see here. I want to commission... Alright, so which one do I want, actually? Butter or wool? You know what, wool. Or yarn. That's the one I'm actually going to be using. We'll get the butter maker afterwards. We have plenty of animantite and money, so it's not going to be that big of a problem. Oh yeah, also once winter gets here, maybe I'll look into actually upgrading the rest of my tools. There's not real I don't think there's ever a prize for upgrading all your tools, but I kind of want to do it anyways. Just to quote-unquote 100% the game. We're not even close to 100% in this game. I don't think I've ever 100% in this game. It's one of my favorite games, but yeah, I've never gotten close to 100%ing, like, catching every single fish, getting every single upgrade. There are some ridiculous things you would have to do to get everything in this game. I guess you could also just use a guide. Actually, yeah, theoretically with a guide and a bit of, like, 
note taking, it probably wouldn't be that bad. It would just be super, super, super time consuming. Also, wait, why am I wanting over here? There we go. Speaking of time consuming, I should probably help out with harvesting again. And in fact, I think we might just wrap up the episode here then. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, more fall. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, we're going to be wrapping up fall in like two or three episodes, huh? Interesting. So, till then.